Hi, I'm Gabriel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a rock in Cinema 4D with no plugins. Let's get started. First, we'll add a sphere to our scene. Uncheck Render Perfect. I'll switch on this layout shading line so you can see. Change the sphere type to hexahedron. Turn up the segment to about 300. Because I don't want to deform this sphere. Bring back layout shading. Um, we we'll add a displacer to our scene. You can do this by holding down the Shift key and selecting your deformer. Next, we we'll create our texture. Drag it onto our sphere. Select the displacer. Select displacement and drag our texture into the empty slot. We'll also change the height up to something like 50 so we can really see what we are pushing at. In here, we'll change the color to something darker for now. Uncheck reflectance, check displacement, and this is where we are going to do most of the work. We'll add a layer shader. In here, we'll add a noise. Let me move this here so we can see. See that there? Yeah, we'll check Voronoi 1 and scale it up to about a thousand and when we do that a thousand and when we do that you see it starts to look rock like that's why I chose Voronoi 1 it looks rocky in nature by default when you scale it up we we'll take the Y value up something about 300 for now Maybe 250. You can push the contrast by adjusting the high clip and the low clip if you really want to see detail in your noise and sharp edges in your rock. Okay, back in the layer, we'll add a gradient. And in this gradient, we want to create dark borders in this palette. So we'll put the white in the middle and you see the way it's affecting our texture. It's showing this way because of the way it's being projected. It's being projected the wrong way. So we select our texture and change the projection type to spherical because we are using a sphere. See it starts to project in a similar way to what we have here. Now we'll create some grey borders for it, just so it's not a sharp transition from black to white, there. We'll add some randomness in there by taking the, the turbulence up, see these guys, starting to look cool like a rock. Change the octaves up to a high number. Note the octave function has a similar effect when you are using a noise shader. It increases or decreases the amount of smaller detail in your noise. So just take note of that. Okay. Next we can change the seed by playing with this seed function. These numbers are largely experimental. I advise you guys to play with them until you get the rock of your dreams. The rock of your dreams. <laughs> okay, back in the shader panel, we we'll turn the strength down to 50. The strength of the gradient, we we'll turn it down and set the mode to difference. Yeah. You can go back into the gradient and change the way these colors are, make them darker, just to get some variance in there. And if you go back into the noise shader, you can change the seed. Let's keep pushing these numbers. Create the rock of your choosing. 
Okay. Let's see. I'll get something better. Okay, I'll stay with this. I'll use this instead. And that's 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 the major thing guys. The rock see this? I already have a rock. And by changing the seat function, you can just duplicate the sphere. Let me show you. You can just duplicate the sphere. Duplicate this. Change it to rock two. Rock two. Drag it onto our second rock. This one. And then act our displacer. To use that texture and now when we come and change the seed in here we we'll have a different rock totally different rock just by manipulating these options these numbers you can really really create something different and varied you can alter the noise seed to get different kinds of rock and also add more layers to the displacement to get a totally different look also you can manipulate the projection type you can also change the noise type to something different say Voronoi 2 let me show you here Voronoi 2 see how that looks see just keep experimenting until you get the rock of your choice okay and uh, in, back in the displacement turn this number to 0 so you control the displacement only with your deformer if you leave this at 5 it will add more displacement when you render and uh, you really don't want that next we'll just add some texture to our rocks you can get some cool textures from 3 dtextures.me 3 dtextures.me textures they are free so why not and you always want to drop your occlusion map into the diffuse channel i just recently learned this so i thought it would be worth mentioning to those that don't know now you know Okay, drag and drop this to our other rock too. And by changing the length of U and V in this tab, you can get your texture to wrap around more. You can scale it down so it helps your rock more tightly. So that's it guys. There, you have your rock. I'll add some plane. Act as a fluff force. I'll drop this onto the floor. Next, we'll add some light. And a cool way to really position your light accurately is to come to this tab, camera tab and select active object as camera there. You can really see where your light is facing and control it in pretty much the same way as you would control your camera. Okay, so I'll leave you guys here. Don't forget to experiment and create something new. This tutorial was created as a response we got after posting the Earthraiser at work. Thanks for watching. Check out other ads on Victor Express and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.